Hey everyone, this is, this is a big question that comes up often, um, or, or statement. What is a cosigner? Okay, and we want to talk about that. A lot of people I hear all the time, um, that's not my car, that's not my debt, I just co-signed for my daughter, I just co-signed for my son. Uh, those are not my student loans, I co-signed for my child. Okay, no, those are your debts. They're 100% your debts. A co-signer means you're co-signing. So you're meaning that's 100% your debt. It's not half theirs or half yours or it's all theirs. I just signed it for them. No, it's 100%. When you co-sign, that debt becomes 100% yours. Okay, but we're going to talk about how to make adjustments on that for your mortgage loan application. So whether you're co-signing uh, for a car, a home, uh, or, or student loans, these are the more common things that we see in, in the mortgage industry that happens. You know, there's other things, um, boats, canoes, whatever we've seen. There's nothing unlimited. There's no real exceptions to the rules. These just happen to be the most common. Parents most commonly sign for their children for student loans and for cars, and it impacts them when they go to buy a house because that debt is there. So no different, I think, in the other videos I talked about the self-employed and how to move a debt from personal to business. We're going to do the same here. Um, so if you uh, co-signed a loan for your son to buy uh, a car, okay? Now, if your son has made those payments for the last 12 months, okay, out of his bank statement, okay, and we can get 12 months of your son's bank statements, we can show that your son's making that payment and we can eliminate that car payment from your debt to income ratio. But we need 12 months to eliminate it, okay, from, the, from your DTI, because that debt is 100% yours. Okay, now here's the problem with that. Um, your son, let's call him um, Tommy, okay, and Tommy's bank account, but your name is on the bank account as well. So it's Tommy and John. John's the dad, and here's the son, okay? So, but now both their names are on that account. It's really hard to say Tommy's making those payments because your name is on it too, okay? Now, there, in some special occasions, some lenders will look at Tommy's bank statement, even though your name's on it, and they'll make sure if you, if the dad has never put money in that account, and only Tommy's paycheck goes into that account, you may get an exception to the rule. Okay, so you want to watch when it's cosign. Remember, a cosign is 100% your debt as well. It's 100% yours. It counts to your debt to income ratio. So student loans, uh, those are helpful. Those are your debt. If your child is still a new cosign for your child and they're still in college, and you could show there's going to be in college for a couple more years, and you can show that, the underwriter, depending on the lender, may waive that. You may waive that debt because it's in deferment, and it's your child, they're still in school. Okay, so there's some exceptions to these rules. But count on when you co-sign for someone, and you're trying to purchase a home, okay, that debt is 100% yours. Okay, that's going to be 100% your debt. You're not getting away with it. It counts to your debt to income ratio.